Hello. Please hit like button and subscribe my channel. Also press bell icon for future video notifications. Thanks. Ecologists need to understand wild animal behaviors in order to conserve species, but following animals around can be expensive, dangerous, or sometimes impossible in the case of animals that move underwater or into areas we can't reach easily. Scientists turn to the next best thing. Bio-logging devices that can be attached to animals and capture information about movement, breathing rate, heart rate, and more. However, retrieving an accurate picture of what a tagged animal does as it journeys through its environment requires statistical analysis, especially when it comes to animal movement, and the methods statisticians use are always evolving to make full use of the large and complex datasets that are a a recent study by researchers at the Institute for the Oceans and Fisheries, IOF, and the UBC Department of Statistics has taken us a step closer to understanding the behaviors of northern resident killer whales by improving statistical tools useful for identifying animal behaviors that can't be oh. It's a matter of finding behaviors on the order of seconds, maybe 10 to 15 seconds. Usually, it's a matter of a whale looking around, and then actively swimming for a second to get over to a new location. We're trying to capture it with this model. We're trying to account for this, wiggliness, that a traditional hidden Markov model wouldn't be able to account for. In other words, now that tags can collect data almost continuously, researchers are left with an immense number of data points taken farther. The whale they used to develop the model preferred to save energy by gliding through the water when making deep dives, and when it was closer to the surface, it moved more actively, accelerating faster and, fluking, its tail more often. Understanding these diving patterns will be crucial for whale conservation because it will help researchers learn how much energy the whales require to sustain themselves. And the method's applications extend far beyond whale movement data, according to Sidro. It could be applied to pretty much any animal movement data, he said. The work is one of the first steps on the road to fully understanding why southern resident killer whales are not faring as well as their northern counterparts, according to Dr. Marie Auger Methe, senior author of the study and an assistant professor in the Department of Statistics and the Institute. Using our methods to detect when the animals are catching prey and to model their energy expenditure will be key to understanding the differences between these neighboring whale populations, she said. The next goal is to understand when the whales are capturing prey and applying the models to both northern and southern resident killer whale populations to see how they are behaving differently. The paper offers many building block solutions that can be used together or independently, Dr. Augermethe said. In essence, we are providing a toolbox to researchers using high-frequency movement data, and other similar high-frequency time series. Evan Sidro, Nancy Heckman, Sarah M. E. Fortune, Andrew W. Trites, Ian Murphy, Marie Auger Methe. Enhanced statistical models will aid conservation of killer whales and other species. Science Daily. Science Daily, 17 January 2022. IFT.TT slash 3GG9 WLC University of British Columbia 2022, January 17 Enhanced statistical models will aid conservation of killer whales and other species. Science Daily Retrieved January 17, 2022 from IFT.TT slash 3GG9 WLC University of British Columbia Enhanced statistical models will aid conservation of killer whales and other species. Science Daily. HTTPS colon slash slash ift. TT 3GG9 WLC. Accessed January 17, 2022. Please support my channel to grow by pressing subscribe button and the bell icon. We will notify you technological news. Thank you.